2018 can be considered the year of disappointments. Disappointments for the consensus view of reflation, higher growth, synchronized growth, and the idea of further expansion of multiples in, uh, in an environment of ba central bank policy normalization. However, after a euphoria shock, what we have seen is a pessimistic shock. And what we have right now is a generalized sell-off that does create opportunities. Of course it does. And it's now more a time to buy rather than a time to sell. However, what we need to avoid is those sectors that are too exposed to the growth in China because that will continue to slow down. They are too exposed to the idea of inflation. Remember that uh, most of the strategists, most of the uh, investment banks' ideas for 2019 basically considered 2018 as some sort of a, of a hiccup, of some sort of a, an anomaly, and that they're recommending for 2019 exactly what they recommended for 2018. I think that we need to be more prudent. I think that we need to look at opportunities in non-cyclical sectors. We need to look at opportunities in dollar-based assets. We need to look at opportunities in those companies that have reduced it, that have, that have strong margins, and that do not need higher inflation and higher growth from the economy in order to sustain the existing multiples. I think that in any case, right now is more a time to look for opportunities of what to buy than what to sell.